welcome back to my channel i hope you are here because you are preparing for, to go to ghana or you're probably in ghana and this is a video that might give you some information about things that you should do and things that you should not do when visiting ghana and if you haven't seen part one then i think you should definitely check it out the link is in the description of this video so you should definitely check it out go see that was, the part one was more about things that you should do when you visit ghana this is about things that you should not do when you go and visit ghana so let's check out the intro and then we can take it from there the first thing i'll talk about is keeping your documents safe keeping your documents safe is purely because in over here when we are like when we go out and stuff like that we are constantly um carrying different cards and credit card and all that stuff like girls need their card here uh, like almost every other shop be a more a more on a discount card or saints breeze uh super drag maybe i'm more on a card or no but when you get to ghana you don't really need this do you and see my advice to you is you you're better off just keeping all of that in a safe place including your passports and in terms of that too one thing that i one tip that i'll give you is when you get to ghana if you have like important documents like your um uh, your passports or your driver's license or if you if you came to ghana and if you live here with a visa or a residence permit take a picture of it because if something happens and you lose this document you need a reference number to be able to read for for the consulate or whatever it is for the high commission to retrieve it for you and give you a replacement so you're better off having a, um, images of it on your phone so that at least you'll be able to get the reference number for them number two is you can't eat everything at once i know y'all for soup i could do ghana at once you want to eat all of it why you can't you can't eat everything at once so di koko anapa di wa che wiya e di emu enimre akodi emu tu e di baya ache adan o ye mbe o ya ya fosu ntino what you do is you take you pace yourself you, you eat gradually because the kind of pepper and stuff like that that is in Ghanaian food you might not be able to handle it in one go and you don't want to end up being sick having a, a tummy ache or being on the loo just on your holiday you're just wasting your time in your day you want to be like you want to be able to enjoy your holiday without feeling ill constantly and see no just take it easy okay just gradually pace yourself that's one tip that i'll give you so the next tip here is feeling obligatory feeling obligatory purely because when you're going to ghana you don't want to be that guy that went to Ghana with nothing and they will be a big girl. But at the same point in time, when the people that you're, when you're hanging out with people, you don't feel, don't you don't need to feel obliged to pay for everybody. Not everybody deserves that. Some people, yes, that like say, for example, there are people that you, you want to like treat them or something like that. And that's different. You, you, you organize lunch with people. That's, that's, that's something that you might be able to pay for them. But if you see that this person is somebody that, on the bill on the buy now and we're in here when you know yes sir and if i know what you do you know yeah just be careful about these things just be 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 very mindful and also in terms of feeling obligatory is we have a tradition in ghana where when you're going to visit people you take presents okay you take presents with you but at the same point in time don't feel like you have to buy something for everybody because you probably don't have the luggage space or the money for all that. And wow. So the thing here that you can do is, the best thing for you to do is to buy things for people that you actually, the people in your inner, inner circle that you know, or people that will be hosting you or something like that. Or the people that you'll be hanging out with on a regular basis. So you have a partner or a girlfriend or boyfriend there. Yes, that one separate, mom, dad, separate. You buy something for them. Then you buy some sweets, buy sweets, chocolates and stuff like that. Maybe some bo BID, maybe chocolate BID no be have because I'm doing that with some brands, I'm not. So in that sense, you buy something like that, and the people that will come and visit you on random basis, 
you give them stuff like that that would be good um but and yes are they are nah at the same point in time i know said the uk boys we at the moment we have a bad rep in ghana we are mostly a pepe me me nye pepe unti me mo biya me kase me pepe i must say a pepe when you go and you hang out with someone and if you don't know the place and someone is like constantly taking you out and showing you around and showing you a good time be kind enough to like be paying for their transport or you don't in in a nutshell don't let your visit to ghana be a financial burden to them or a financial detriment to that person okay just be kind so i just say be kind and be help yourself and help them as well so that you don't give yourself or you don't leave us that bad rep that we have in Ghana. <laughs> the American boys are spending their money, but Ghana, the UK boys, they don't want to pocket your music. So that's another point. Um, the last one that I'll probably talk about in this video is money. In the money sense, it's, it's different. Um, the reason why I'm just saying this is purely because I know the other parts that I've talked about is money as well and keeping your money safe and your stuff like that safe as well. When you go out you don't need to take all so, but this one here i'm talking about money in a sense of how you should keep your money safe there are some tips that i can give you here please when you're going out don't be carrying all your money with you to so take it outside and bring it back and then take it out and bring it back again it will not help um the trick that i use is i take out what i need um i keep my money somewhere really really safe <laughs> If I tell you where I keep my money, we drop. <laughs> you know, everybody knows where the money can be safe, the way they can keep it, the place they can keep it, and it will feel safe to them. Um, but the other thing that I do is I take a chunk of the money that I've allocated for myself for the travel, and see, say, I want to spend eight hundred pound for the whole trip. I I take five hundred pound in cash, not made a uh, made a, 300 pound to my bank account and team me 500 pound a sa then i will transfer the 300 pound to myself in ghana um oko ghana no charlie udu ghana ye men kwa ye mko yu sika o krum rough rough because kwa yu sika o kwa yu sa o pound o dollar nene o euro nuko yi ni o krum rough rough ha mo biya kwa kwa shi o kwa o yamu kwa be rough be o kwa nti no and just be careful as well and when you are sitting in a cab or in terms of the money situation as well when you're sitting in a cab or some or an uber or something like that and people are people mom baba jen jam be sese sese kano i have here on me because i'm going to sometimes when you bounce no be a snatch your phone and have a and keep that in mind anyway i hope you really enjoyed watching this and i hope you learned something keep kept something in mind um i will also be sharing um a video that says titled um how to prepare for your trip in ghana and that would give you some generalist um thoughts on what i do to prepare for my trip in ghana and how i try and stay safe and you know this video is i hope say you turn on your notification for in future and then don't forget to share it with somebody that you know that is going to ghana so oh no i'm going to cry for sure i'll come out down for me no i'm sure that you'll be safe why Mommy and I'll probably so be here. I've been born to celebrate over stay safe because um our country is fun and it's beautiful, but like everywhere else, the Pabonini or home that there are bad people there that you wanna be careful of. So anyway, you can find me on all socials. If you have any questions, um on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, you can find me as Kenny Lambert Official and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.